learning some new information about some suspects connected to the videos we have seen of people being attacked downtown. That's right. Candace Hare has covered this story from the beginning. Candace, what are you learning? Well, I can tell you, Rob, Trisha, things are happening and developing really quickly here. But the latest that we have learned from Cincinnati police is that a 14 year old is wanted as a suspect in connection with both of those attacks downtown that we have shown you the video of. I do want to take a look at those videos. You've probably seen them by now, but this first one, that's that first attack. Police say it happened on January 23rd on East 6th Street. We received that video by way of the Fraternal Order of Police who posted it on Facebook. The FOP had previously told us that an 18 year old had been arrested but was out on bond in connection with this incident. But Cincinnati police now tell us that a 14 year old named Romero Holloway Jr. is wanted in connection with this attack. A police say that Holloway Jr. is also wanted in connection with the attack that took place on East 5th Street on January 24th. That is the second video, the one that Cincinnati Police Department had posted posted onto their website. So that is the latest information. I can tell you that CPD do tell me that just minutes ago, a 16 year old was also a suspect in both of these attacks, but that that 16 year old has been taken into custody. But the 14 year old Romero Holloway Jr. They say is still wanted. They are still looking for that person. And they say that, you know, if anyone has inf information about this, they can submit any anonymous tips to Crime Stoppers. Of course, you might be used to things like mug shots, but we're dealing with a 14 year old, so we don't have things like that available. Um, even for us to just name the 14 year old, that's something we take really seriously as journalists, Rob and Tricia. All right, so the 14 year old was allegedly involved in both. The 16 year old was involved in both as well, or just one, we think. So Cincinnati police told me both the 16 year old and the 14 year old were suspects in both of those. So both of them suspects in both of those attacks. The 16 year old they say has been taken into custody just minutes ago. We got that update. The 14 year old, however, still wanted. OK, well, one follow up on that and, and then I'll let Rob talk. Have they been arrested before? Is there any kind of a record? Because, you know, the prosecutor's office was saying the problem is with juvenile detention and the judges with the revolving door. So that is something we do not yet know. And of course, we will look into, of course, as we've mentioned here many times, Trisha, juvenile records, very difficult to come by. It could be a bit of a time consuming process. And we just got word about these two being suspects within the last 15, 20 minutes. So that is something we'll be looking to next. But that can be a bit of a process at times. What about the other people in the video? Because you mentioned three people. But when you look at the video, there's more than three people involved. Are police looking for those other people as well? You have to assume so that they are looking for those people. And this is something that's been really developing over time. Initially with that first video, we heard about an 18 year old. We heard about a juvenile as well. Uh, now we know that we have these two other juveniles, the one of which has been taken into custody. The other one they are still looking for. But as you mentioned, Rob, in those videos, certainly especially in the second one, there were far more than just two people involved. Did they tell you who they were in those attacks? Did they say, okay, the 14 year old is the kid in like whatever colored bubble coat or anything. So do you know who, who they're looking, who they are? No, so that was something that was I had explicitly as part of the conversation with the Cincinnati Police Department PIO. And again, it's difficult with juveniles. Like he said, they don't want to put out a mugshot. They don't want to specifically say this was this person, because when you are dealing with juveniles, there is that layer of protection, that layer of privacy involved. I know sometimes for for us as journalists, that can be frustrating, but those are things that are put in place to protect them as well. All right, uh, Candace is going to keep working the story for us. As she just mentioned, we're getting information consistently and updates consistently on the story and Candace is going to stay on top of that for us. Candace, thank you very much. That's a lot of that's a lot of big information. Yes.